two will be facing Daryl Gurney in the last eight here in Gibraltar. It's been a good day for Wales so far. Plenty of Welsh support here for Gerwin Price. Can he follow up the heroics of their rugby team earlier today against Australia at the World Cup by beating the former world champion? Or will Rob Cross exact a little bit of revenge following that defeat in last uh, you know, in the final in Risa a couple of weeks ago? Rob Malarkey in the chair for this one alongside me for the final match of the afternoon, Paul Nicholson. Yeah, fascinating contest this because there's been a lot gone on since Gerwin Price lifted that second international darts open. I've got to ask you the question, though. If he wins it again next year... Does he keep it? Does he get <laughs> Risa as the prize, or does he get a key to the city or something, or his own statue? The freedom of the city of Risa. He can drive his sheep over the bridge. That's what you often get as a privilege of uh, being given the freedom of a city. Brian Clough was given the freedom of Nottingham, for example, and one of the privileges was that he could drive a flock of sheep over the... Thank you, gentlemen. Vesleg is going to throw first. Game on. That's all, a good it, fact. It, it like all that. stems it from some statute uh, from donkeys years ago. Well, it, it mirrors that sort of that thing that was going to happen with Robbie John Rodriguez in Vienna well, when he was going to get a cow if he won the tournament. Yeah, you, you you get silly privileges like being able to wash your clothes in the local river and stuff like that. However, Gerwin Price I think can afford a washing machine. Doesn't need to wash his clothes in the river, given the amount of prize money he's picked up of late. What he has done lately is a lot of handiwork at home. I don't know whether you, you guys at home follow him on Instagram. It's a very entertaining Susie. account. He's uh, it's very much on there all the time, and he's putting updates on there about his man cave slash practice room that he has actually built himself. Had the plastering done this week. The lights have been put in. I don't oh, think he's too far day. away from it being finished. It's quite an impressive structure. As indeed is the man himself. I mean, look at that. And look at that as well. Well, I don't know if the lights would do that when you put... Imagine if they did. <laughs> put the lights on, they go, go on! That'd be quite an interesting practice room. Back comes Cross. This is going to be spicy. Yeah, it's bubbling up nicely already. 96 away here for Gerwin Price, but he's missed the treble 20. Just having a think and an assessment of his options. 61. So, we we'll talked 24. a little bit this weekend about potential rivalries in the future. Here's one right here. Favourite segment on the board. Gets it. Bull. Drum roll, please. Long drum roll required as well. No, he misses the bullseye. Not by much. It just nudged that wire. 60. Little grimace on the face of Rob Cross there, the number 14 seed here this weekend. Tops for Gezi. Got to go to the right. 20. Robbie required 25. Well, I think this will be a match of fine margins, and there's your first illustration. Well, that is missed by quite some margin. Yeah. He's had a couple of darts like that this weekend already. I don't even think he's quite happy with that one. It is in, though. One dart at double four. Yeah, and it's all he needs. Don't try that one at home, kids. I've got Second two words for you, Rob. First. Game on. Hook and crook. <laughs> yeah, I guess he can't quite believe that that one has slipped through his fingers. But it is first blood to the former world champion. 57. I made the point yesterday when we were watching Gerwin Price in that match against David Francis last night, the 6-0 uh, win against the host nation qualifier, or one of the host nation qualifiers. 134. There's almost a parallel here for Price to work with, because last year when he won that title in Risa, it really did kickstart a, a very productive autumn for him, didn't it? He was, of course, the Grand Slam of darts champion. He beat Gary Anderson in the final of that one. He made the last four at the World Series, quarter finalist at the European Championship. And I just suspect, given he's had this... Uh, run to the final of a Pro Tour event already since Risa, and potentially a good one here as well, it may well be that he comes good once again. I mean, he's had a great 2019, so you, you could argue, well, he's been good all year, but I mean, he could really finish with a flourish. He's had a fabulous career so far. I, I, I don't want to oversell any player, really. Oh, I want to give do. them the uh, their just desserts, really. But let's face facts. 
Look at all the Welsh players that have come and gone in the PDC and who are still here. Gavin Price is the most impressive when it comes to titles. He's won on the floor, he's won in Europe, he's won on the big stage on television, he's got the three of them. And he's been in the Premier League a couple of times, so does that make him the best Welsh player that's been in Wait, PDC yeah. history? It probably does. It probably does, yeah. Doesn't have to go for the ball and doesn't. 87. The professional miss. Or the professional setup, I might say. Well, he talks about the Premier League. It was 7 all when they met in the Premier League this year. In one of their meetings, 44. Cross won the other one by off. seven 40. legs to four. Yeah, shot on the second leg. Go in That's a really important dart for the ace man there Third because two the misses at tops in the first Game leg. On. The last thing he wanted to do was start missing again. He's put it right. And he has been the best player so far. And there are worrying signs for Cross. He's just shaking Fair his head a little eight. bit. I'm not sure the darts are coming out of his hand correctly. Maybe with a bit of extra perspiration. Yeah, he admitted himself that he needs to improve after his performance yesterday. He beat Christoph Kachuk, or Christoph Chuk now, we're being told. 6-3. Uh, Only averaged 87. Uh, his finishing was a bit hit and miss as well. 6 out of 20 on his doubles. I don't think Rob Cross will be too concerned by that. You often need to just get into your stride in the opening match, and it's all about coming through that first hurdle. Well, a lot of the top sometimes guys... Sometimes you thrive off a more competitive environment. 100. Yeah, absolutely right. A lot of these top guys would prefer to have a very difficult game. I mean, it's all well and good getting a, uh, a game like David Francis, where Gavin was hey, such a huge favourite, and he didn't really have to stretch his legs. But the thing is, if you look at someone like Nathan Aspinall, who's had to work really, really hard yesterday and today... You may have to say that he's probably the best prepared for tonight's challenge. 100. Well, here we have the world number six, Gerwin Price, against the world number two, battling it out for the right to face the world number three. This is the standard we've got this weekend. And that's a pretty high standard as well from Gezi to threaten a 2-1 lead. Do you get the feeling that Gezi might have watched the rugby this morning? I'd like to think he did. I think... 104. There's, there's more there. chance of me having a very large latte with my dinner this evening <laughs> than him yeah, not watching the rugby. If you guys don't know me, I don't actually like coffee. Throw first. But Gerwin Price loves tops again. Two out of two in the last two legs. And he is ahead. Yeah, it was a little bit lively with the Welsh fans outside the, in the square outside the hotel this morning watching that uh, epic performance 93. against Australia in Tokyo. He ain't missing much. Ooh, and that was a really good switch. That 60's been battered in the first three legs of this match. But he just saw a little wobble with that second door. And if he hit the flight, there's every chance it would have come out the board. And without hesitation, he used the 54. Well, I'm not sure what happened there. The first two darts, both hitting the 20, but way below the treble 20 bed. And then he strayed into the single three as well. It's another helping hand here for Gerwin Price. And once again, yeah, it's on the cross throw. Are we looking at a Rob Cross that has been very busy over the last four weeks, who's maybe in need of a few days off ahead of Dublin? He's going to have to be really creative, if that's the fact, when he goes to Dublin and maybe oh, miss one of the pro tours and use one as a real hit-out, try and get the title, which he actually won two years ago, and then go into the Grand Prix itself with a fresh arm. Oh, well, he has been one of these players who's managed his schedule shall we say this year he's opted to miss a few European Tour events he missed Zwolle Prague and Vienna he's only played in 14 of this year's 26 Pro Tour events so far as well 100. he doesn't uh, need made, to well yeah he doesn't need to but you talk about whether he's rested or not I'd, he's had more 80. rest than anybody over the year well, obviously he's been a bit busier with the World Series campaign this summer that's still maybe taking its toll yeah he was Really struggling with the jet lag when he came back from New Zealand. It's good that he took a week off and was all right by the time he got to Mannheim. 58. Going to Uruguay. 20. You know, he's not made the final of a Pro Tour event this year. He has made the final of a European Tour event this year, however. Yeah, shot on the fourth well, leg. Go in Price. He's made the final of a Euro Tour, but it's Gerwin Price who's threatening to make the Game final on. here once again. 
3-1 he leads. Two breaks to one to the good. Trying to get into that exclusive club of players who have won three European Tour events. Like of Sulevic, Wright, Van Gerwen, Taylor, White. Good standard so far. Sneaky good this game. Yeah, 13 <laughs> dart break, a 14 dart hold and a 14 dart break for Gerwin Price. Very, very good indeed. And just to give you guys a bit of a, an insight into what's happening 100. over in the UK at the Challenge Tour. Callan Rids has secured a tour card. He will definitely be in the top two of the Order of Merit. So congratulations to Callan. But the work is not over for Callan. If he can maintain top spot, he will be at the Worlds. But he has got one box ticked so far. Stephen Burton has just been defeated in the Challenge Tour. So one of the protagonists who could have overtaken him at the top has been eliminated. So we'll keep you updated with that. Well, we saw the averages there. There's a good 20 points between the pair of them right now. 86 and a bit for Cross, 106 and a bit for Gerwin Price. That's just one of the difficulties facing Rob Cross right now. 134. Going to go 124. Not even thinking about going for the treble 18. Well, that is 24 that he's just hit with dart 2. 64. And I think it's sensible layup to leave 60. Maybe he can put right what he didn't do in the first leg. One hundred and forty. Rob Cross is not Go playing poorly, but Gerwin Price is always finding himself in the better positions. And yet again, just like leg one, he's put the dart in the single twenty in the same spot. Double ten. Yeah, there you go. The Four one to the good Price. and misses Iceman. Six leg approves. Is to throw first. Game on. Yeah, the ice lady watching on from the uh, left hand side of the stage, and she likes what she sees so far. Ice Lady sounds better than Ice Maiden. 100. I like it. It's a bit, bit more regal. There's not a lot changed about that equipment since Gerwin Price took to the tour. And there's not a great deal has changed with the equipment of Rob Cross. These are two guys who don't mess a lot with their kit. They know what works. And if small changes need to be made, 100. they're not visible to the naked eye. Well, for going price in particular, you have to say, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it. Because it's clearly, although he might break a die if he continues to drop them like that. But um, that, that seems logical, or it would seem logical to many. Yeah, when changes are made, it's, it's because something has changed. Whether it's a grip, or you've come back from an injury, or maybe... Suffered a bit of the dreaded dartitis, but these guys have had a very successful few years and have found what works. And if you do make changes, you've got to do it at a good time as well. You've really got to pick your moments carefully with that sort of thing. Yeah, start of the season or just before the start of the season. And if you are going to do it mid-season, do it in the summer when there's a few weeks off. Give yourself time to get used to the changes that you make. That changes the complexity of this leg. It does. But it would just be a hold of throw for Rob Cross. No great damage done for Gerwin Price. 56. Robbie requires 62. First 180 of the match for Rob Cross, that one. Price has... Sorry, that was his second. Price also has two. Not only is the brow of Rob Cross starting to hot up, but his darts are as well at the right time. Yeah, that is a really back. vital oh, checkout on 62 like for Voltage. Game on. Yeah, because I would not have put it past Gerwin Price to take out that 108, given the mood he's in right now. 96. Is he ever in a mood that isn't aggressive on the dartboard? Well, I suppose there are times when he's ultra-aggressive, so that's, yeah, that's a little different. There are times, I talk about it all the time, controlled aggression. I think it's a, a very understated uh, side of anybody's game. I think aggressive is probably the bronze medal position. You've got super aggressive, then supersonic yeah. aggression. After and a lot that. of people confuse aggression with anger, uh, especially in darts, and it's not the same thing at all. That's not what we're getting at. Yeah, it's, it's very akin to will to win. And Gerwin Price, I think, would want to beat anyone at Tiddlywinks. He'd probably be the only person in the world of Tiddlywinks that would do uh, big celebrations in that. Another change of attire, 19s for Rob uh, for Gerwin Price here, but he's strayed into the treble three, so he's back upstairs, and then back Four downstairs eight. instead. There's a bit of a scratchy visit, that one, from Gerwin. 
Might just have to watch his step here. Big visit for Rob Cross. Might just open the door for him. Lovely first start. That's a little bit awkward. Got to switch. 100. When you've got that nine on the end, I think that may have been a mistake. You want to get rid of that nine and put either a zero or potentially a two on the end if you get the 57. That's a good recovery from Gerwin Price, though. 48 on his previous visit. Back on track with the Tun Fours. He down to 77 on throw. Because if you leave 220, you can hit a 180, you leave Tops enough three at him. But if you leave 219, you've got, got a minimum of four darts from there. It's one dart left for Price. 57. Robbie Uruguay, 79. Well, he broke in the very first leg, did Rob Cross. And he could well break again here to trim the deficit to 4-3. Taking his time, as we know he likes to do. 20 for tops. Well, that's the easy bit. Two or three paces away from the hockey. He's going to the left to open up another third of the tops bed. 59. And because he went to the left, he's elongated 20. the hockey by a, about an inch. And that's why it's gone low. Big dart coming in. It's there. Yeah, yeah, that was a really Go pivotal moment. At the end of this match, yeah. you'll look back on this as uh, the moment. Perhaps the match slipped away from Rob Cross, and I think that was it. He had a great opportunity for a break of throw. Gerwin Price, however, did not mess about on double ten. Found it and just reestablishes that cushion of three legs, which is absolutely priceless right now. Update from the Challenge Tour in the United Kingdom. There was one simple scenario, very similar to what we had with James Wade against Kim Hybrex earlier. If Kim was eliminated, he was not going to Göttingen for the European Championships. Now, only Boris Koltsov of Russia, if he wins the challenge tour that's going on right now, 100. can deny Callan Rids a spot at the Worlds. That's it. One hundred and forty. Who's going to be denied a spot? in this evening's session. It's looking increasingly likely that it is going to be Rob Cross, but the resistance is there. Well, a little bit of pressure, but again, Gowen Price might just be thinking in the back of his mind about the forthcoming leg on throw. Robbie Uruguay, 87. If the opportunity comes along here and now, then obviously that's all well and good. Treble 17, so 20. And that leaves that little red button in the middle of the board yeah, and he yeah, finds it and the rock cross it's a hold of throw as I say no huge damage done for Gerwin Price but it stops him in his tracks well, when once you, again it asks the question when you leave 81 after 9 and you don't get another dart in the leg it's good for your average nice average of 140 in that leg Averages lie and they, they tell you all sorts of fibs, but we like to play with averages on the Euro Tour. Well, what you can't deny is the fact that Price has dropped his dart again, by the way, but uh, 20 points was the deficit between the averages, and that has been trimmed to about 8 points now. Rob Cross has just raised his game ever so slightly on the scoring, and Gerwin Price has taken such a slight, and only a slight, downturn. Nothing too detrimental just yet, but if Rob Cross can just maintain this upward trajectory. Forced switch 59. for Gerwin. Advantage Cross. And if Cross can take this ninth leg, we'll be back on throw all of a sudden. He isn't missing all of a sudden. He's not missing a thing. 171. Wow. 167. That is stunning from Rob Cross. The darts of a world champion. But this could well be the darts of a potential European Tour champion here in Gibraltar. 142. He moved the wire. Robbie Uruguayer, 16. He did that back in March. He got two 167s against Jamie Hughes in the same game, and one of them was for the match. Yeah. He's missed the match dart. Yeah. And that 10 darter from Rob Cross bookends what was a fabulous leg of darts game. from both guys. Well, that's good for me. I, I've got to say, arguably, the leg of the weekend so far given the context and given the situation where we are in the match right now. 100. And my view has just been endorsed by our 
host and MC this weekend and spotter. He was just really in my ear there. He was, he was plugging no, the not. new uh, fruit company's uh, autumn product, an icon cur. And that was worst joke of the weekend right there. <laughs> I, I can feel my Dutch colleagues showing me a yellow card. You took the words right out of my mouth. 59. What a fabulous game of darts. Brilliant. Very much in keeping with what they served up in that final in Eastern Germany a couple of weeks ago. Think about the rivalries in darts in the last 35 years. Bristol against Jockey. Bristol Law. Taylor Manley. Van Gerwen Barneveld. For me, this one is becoming like that. These guys are going to play each other at the thick end of big events in the next few seasons. And they just seem to click Nine when they eight. play each other. No animosity, it's just pure exuberance and brilliance. Yeah, plenty of miles on the clock for these two as well. Going price 34, Rob Cross 30 next year. 140, going to 170. Yeah, ignore the scoreboard. Okay, and always, almost want to ignore that Robbie treble one. 102. It's a disastrous dart, but now 102. For Rob Cross, that becomes 42, becomes 32. This is to go equal with what was a rampant Gerwin Price. 70. Going to require 128. Difficult shot, 128 for the match. Another one. Doesn't get there. He threw it so well, it just clattered into the barrel. Robbie Aguirre, 32. Well, we've just reset the scoreboard on the screen, but uh, Danielle is well on top of things here. 32 away. That's some way inside the wire. That's a concern, despite the smile on the face of Rob Cross. Double four now. Yeah, and and there. Rob Cross, 5 2 now. And in what seems like the blink of an eye, especially after that 10 data, he's on terms again at five apiece. That's, brilliant, brilliant match. That smile from Cross is a worrying sign for any opponent. Because every time he does that smile, he then hits it in the next dart. Think about when he won the world title. He had 140 left. He had 54, 54. Then he realized, oh, this is for the world title. Had a big smile. Then he plucked it out of thin air and went bang. 100. Just to remind you, Gerwin Price did miss a match dart at the ball in leg nine. And just the way this one has panned out, I wouldn't be surprised at all if both players were to have match darts. Who's ready for takeoff into the quarterfinals? Cross might need all of these. He needs another 60 right here to stay in touch. 100. Advantage Gezi. Well, Gerwin Price may well lose this match with an average of 103 or 104, but he's in pole position now. Talked about the aggression levels earlier in the game. Well, he's kept within himself so much in the last three or four legs. He's got a one-two-seven in game coming up. Oh, and he's going to have to go for the ball. Going to 127. Because Rob Cross has got himself into a position. Treble 19 he wants. Treble 19 he fails to get. 63. Robbie will go 161. It's not the worst miss in the world. He'd much rather have got the treble 16. Yes. That's the uh, second time in the match he's gone for treble 16 and hit treble 8. Yeah, his face suggested it was the end of the world, but as you say, I think he's got away with that one. Well, he has got away with it, or has he? Well, he will return looking at 64. The Rob Cross route for 161, no, getting the 54 out the way. Going but now, 64. who can get 64 first? It's the $64,000 question here. Tops. For Gerwin Price for a 6 5 win. 24. And it's another missed match start, Robbie this time Aguirre at Tops. 64. Two have come and gone. And now it's over to Rob Cross. And as we confidently predicted, both players with match darts in this final leg, or at least Rob Cross should get a match dart here. He's, if never, he doesn't, been, he's never been in front. It'll be astonishing. Finds the treble 16. A few yeses from the crowd just playing on the mind of Rob Cross. He's not there yet. He's still got the hard work to do. Some of the crowd don't realise how quiet it is in here. One word can be heard. Double eight for a 6-5 win. 
and a passage into the quarterfinals this evening here in Gibraltar. Oh, no and score. And he has bust his score. Gerwin, you require 40. Never been in front in the game, Rob Cross. Gerwin Price shuts Game the shot. door. And the match, Gerwin Price. And he enjoyed that. It was a nervous ride in the end, but look at the relief for Gerwin Price. What a match to round things off on the afternoon session here in Gibraltar. Gerwin